defect can be in the blood vessel, it can be in the platelet, it can be in the coagulation pathway. In the blood vessel, it can be acquired or inherited. Any defect in the structure or function of the blood vessel can cause bleeding. Your common examples are vasculitis, curvy, connective tissue disorders. And uh, these are seen but not commonly seen in the hematology OPD. They are commonly seen in other departments and they are associated with other symptoms. Coming to platelet defects, platelet defects can be quantitative or qualitative. A reduction in the number of platelets, that is thrombocytopenia can also cause bleeding, which can be easily identified by a simple platelet count. And it can also be due to platelet function defect, meaning the platelet number will be normal, but they are not functioning properly. So that is the platelet function defect. Coagulation factor defects, we know that there are a lot of coagulation factors starting from factor 12 to factor 1. A defect in any of these can cause bleeding, which we shall discuss during the rest of the discussion.